Here's my question for you. What was there before nothing? We don't know. Right. So here's It's my okay point. to not know. Th that's the whole point of science. No, but the that's whole what, point of science no, deal. is go that's where why, you don't know the answer. That's why then, I believe in God, because there has to be a superior thing out there which can answer that question, logically. Yeah, so that's not an invocation of logic. That's an invocation of what philosophers have historically called the god of the gaps. The god of the gaps is you look at where science has yet to tread, where science has yet to figure out, and you say, wow, that's mysterious. I don't know how that works. God must have done it. There's a long uh, uh, storied uh, history of people thinking this way. Let's go back to AD 150, Claudius Ptolemy, brilliant math Alexandrian mathematician polymath. He wrote in the margin of one of his greatest works, he said, after looking at the planets going back and forth, not fully understanding why they did this, and he writes, when I trace at my pleasure the windings to and fro of the heavenly bodies, I no longer touch earth with my feet. I stand in the presence of Zeus himself and take my fill of ambrosia. <laughs> He was feeling it, okay? Uh, he's <laughs> I love he's that. invoking religion. It's a beautiful quote. It's one of my favorite quotes ever, by the way. And what I'm saying here is he did not understand the planets and he invokes deity to help him out. That's what you just did, but uh, on a different frontier, because we know why the planets go back and forth. Newton got that figured out, and Kepler. So, so if, to you, God is where science has yet to tread, Yeah then God is an ever-receding pocket of scientific ignorance. <laughs>